Even all remarks here, back again with another video, back again with another Oculus Go video. Now we all know there's a metric ton of great experiences and games already on the Oculus Go, but there's plenty of room for more, why not chuck something else in there? Now we had confirmation a little while ago that Oculus were working on bringing two most requested things to the Oculus Go. One being YouTube, which we now have, so YouTube VR app is already out, but the other one they never mentioned, but we're safe to assume that it was Minecraft. Now a recent development has come up over on Reddit where a user has posted a feedback request on the official Minecraft website asking for Minecraft on the Oculus Go. A developer for Minecraft jumped in and said that is the best way to get the people that need to see it to see it and maybe make the decisions on bring it to the Oculus Go. I'll leave a link down below to the page where you can log in with your Microsoft account and place your vote to show your interest in Minecraft coming to the Oculus Go. Now it was standing at about 100 votes before this all kicked off, it's now at almost 400 votes and it's now the top most requested thing. So if we can get in there, and even more votes, you know, if we can get a couple more thousand in there, maybe, you know, with the help of you guys that are watching this video, the chances of Minecraft coming to the Oculus Go will increase. The good news is, is that Gear VR already has Minecraft on it, so it shouldn't take too much to bring Minecraft to the Oculus Go, because they're pretty much the same platform. A lot of the games and apps work on both platforms, so, you know, it probably just needs a little tweak and a little tick somewhere, and it'll bring it over. I think the main sticking point is that you need to log into your Microsoft account, and in the Gear VR version, when you click to log in, it opens up the Xbox app where you log in and then you go back to Gear VR to play it. So maybe for the Oculus Go version we need a slightly different login system or some sort of tweak or both apps or something to make that work. For those of you that already own the Gear VR version and are super keen to try it out on the Oculus Go, you can sideload that version onto the Oculus Go. And I'll show you at the end of this video how to do that. In the meantime, I'm going to jump into the Oculus Go and show you what Minecraft on the Oculus Go looks like and what you can expect and why you should actually be quite excited. It's actually quite an immersive experience. Experience. Let's check it out. Right, so here we are inside Minecraft on your Oculus Go. It's the Gear VR version, and you have to have a game controller. I couldn't get my Game Sir controller to work properly, so you do need an Xbox controller, but that may change come release. I'm not sure whether there's something wrong with this controller or something, but my Xbox controller worked fine, so grab that. You get sort of head controls a little bit in the menu, so you can look, press A to join in. Um, and as I say, you can't use multiplayer, so you can then sort of use your analog stick to move around and do the options. You can use your RB, so you get the same sort of controls as you would do pretty much on the Xbox version, really. So we can uh, create a new world. We can kind of name it whatever we want to name it. We can make it survival. What have I done here? I've jumped right down to the bottom. Uh, you can change the difficulty. There's all these other sort of options that you kind of expect. Uh, but you can just jump straight in. So let's just click create and jump into a world. Um, the little menu that you start off in is actually quite nice. But uh, let's uh, generate the world. It does all the block by block building and starts looking a bit sort of glitchy on my screen. Um, but as you can imagine, it's uh, booting all up. So you can kind of choose here whether you want VR controls or classic controls. Uh, so we'll go through those in a bit. We'll do classic controls to start with. But here we go. So here's Minecraft on the Oculus Go or Gear VR. So you've got yourself a little room here. You've got some paintings and you've got a nice big TV screen. And it's all kind of in 3D. Very cool. And there's a bunny and you get all the same controls like you expect. Everything works as you imagine it would. Punching, kicking, whatever. However, the Gear VR version has a special feature. If you press the touchpad on your Oculus Go controller, dun dun dun, you actually go into VR. So you actually become the head. So you still sort of use the right analog stick to turn left and right, so spin your camera around, but you have to look up and down to aim, and then you use your left one to move around like normal, and all the other controls remain the same. Um, for some reason I have my hand turned off, but if we press start, we can go into settings, and there are some VR settings. So VR controls, so if we turn VR controls on and go back, you get kind of more sort of granular turning. So it's not sort of like the smooth turning. It's meant to kind of help people who get a bit motion sick. So you have to kind of keep pressing left and right to turn around. It just makes it a bit more methodical, doesn't mess with people's heads as much. 
but I quite like the full turning animation. We'll turn that back on. So back down to VR, back down to VR controls. Uh, you got some other things there. We can choose video. We've got what else? We got we got we got we got some good options. I think right down the bottom you got 3D rendering. I think by default that's turned off, so you won't you probably won't see a difference. But this is just like flat looking. But if I bring up that start menu again, go down to video, go down to 3D, everything becomes 3D. So everything starts popping out. So you're in a 3D world here. Playing along, so you're sort of doing the same sort of thing like you normally do, looking at stuff, breaking blocks, holding down the right trigger. You can look at things to start breaking them, and you turn around just like normal. And if you want to start building, you press the left trigger, start placing things, and a duck's in the way, and you jump, and it works really, really well. And I'm super impressed with how this is. Uh, the Oculus Go doesn't seem to get very warm at all. Quite a lot of games get quite toasty when you start playing them, but this, I mean, I've only been playing for a couple of minutes, but it is super toasty. I mean, somebody will have to tell me um, what version of Minecraft this is up to. I'm not sure. This is the latest release of the uh, Gear VR version. I grabbed it off the uh, straight off my, um, my, my phone. So it's the latest APK file. And I'll go through how to do that in the in the end of this video. But yeah, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Oh, I love this. Like the menu's 3D, uh, everything else is 3D. I think all it needs now is multiplayer, which as I say, is if we go to kind of any of the multiplayer options, like invite to game or whatever, it says sign in, you click it, and then it tells you to remove your headset from your phone because it's a Gear VR. So to sign into the... Uh, Xbox app, so you can't do any of the multiplayer features, like saving online or playing together or anything like that, but we get quite a nice, stable world of Minecraft, and I'm super excited about this. I mean, I've been playing Minecraft years ago. I mean, I've not played it much for a while. I think for some reason I don't have my hand on. That must be in the menu there somewhere. I must have turned that off at some point. Where's that video? Hide hand? No. Hang on, let's put my hand back on. Uh, video, hide hand? Oh, I still lost my hand, well, whatever. Uh, I did have a hand earlier, but I'm not too fussed about that. If anything, it actually gives you a bit more screen space to to do stuff. Beat up a tree, chase chase a duck, or a chicken. Is it, is it duck? It's a chicken, isn't it? Yeah, it's a chicken. Come here, come here, chicken. Come here, got him. And I got some chicken meat. Can I eat it? I can't eat raw chicken meat. But there we go. So let's jump out now of the game and I'll run through how, if you've got the Gear VR version, you can play this yourself now. First thing you need to do is jump in your phone, go to the Oculus app for Gear VR, which is this one here. Boot that up, make sure you purchase Minecraft. So if you could search for Minecraft. There we go. Find it. Buy it. It's four pounds ninety nine. What's that? Six seven ninety nine dollars. Uh, buy it. Install it on your phone. Then you're partly done. Then you just need to go to the App Store and download. So if you go to the Play Store here, and uh, we need to search for APK Extractor. This is the one here. Just download this one. Install it, and then open it. This is Android only, because obviously it's Gear VR, Android, you need that sort of thing, so you won't be able to do this on your iPhone. Uh, but then what you can then do is find the app that you want to sort of grab the APK on. If you don't know what APK, it's like the uh, file, um, like the install file uh, for it. So here you go, you just literally click on it, and it extracts it, and it saves it into your folder. You see it flashed up there, as a special folder. So then all you need to do is jump on your PC, connect your phone, and we'll get those transferred over to your Oculus Go. All right, next up, you just need to go onto your PC, connect your phone via wire or however you do it. I mean, there's a, there's a million different ways of connecting your phone or whatever to your PC. But what we're looking for is extracted APKs in your file structure. When you do save the file, it does ask you where you want to save it, um, your APK, and you can find it from there. So that's the one we want, Minecraft. So if we copy that one, put it on our desktop, and you can see I've already got it here. What I use to transfer files over to my Oculus Go 
is what I do as I connect my Oculus Go to my PC via the headset and cable. And then I open up a program called ABD, which is over here. And that's basic ABD link even. And it opens up the file automatically and it makes it super easy for me to get APK files onto my Oculus Go. So if we kind of wait here for a second, and here we go. So you can see we all we have to do now is just click install APK, click on desktop, click on Minecraft, click on open, and then it'll install it and then it's done. If you've already set up ADB and sort of the side loading, then grab this program, it makes it so much easier. Once you've got it set up, because it's a little bit faster to get ADB set up, I'll leave links down below on how to get side loading set up, so I won't go through that in this video, but links down below for that. Once it's set up, I would strongly suggest installing that program, it makes it so much easier. Let's literally click install APK, no faffing around with command lines and whatever, and addresses and bleh, bleh. And once you've got that installed, all you need to come back into is your Oculus Go, into your games, under unknown sources, and there should be Minecraft. It might take a few seconds to show up, but then you just click on it, and away you go. As I say, I strongly recommend you use an Xbox controller. You can't use the Go controller on its own. That only kind of does a very few features, mainly kind of get you in and out of VR mode. But uh, the Oculus Go controller works really well. The Game Sir controller, which I usually use, I couldn't get to work properly, so yeah, I don't know what was wrong with that, but there you go. But yeah, Minecraft VR on your Oculus Go. Hopefully we'll get it soon officially. Let me know in the comments down below if you give that a go, you play Minecraft on your Oculus Go and what you think about it. Make sure you do, you do, 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 hit that link down below. Maybe what I'll do, I'll put on the screen, I'll put minecraft.remarcus.com, go there, sign in with your Microsoft account and register. Just register your vote to make sure Minecraft comes to the Oculus Go. Even if you don't want it, there are so many people out there that do want it and it is quite a good selling feature. So if you want to help support the Oculus Go. That's one super easy way of doing it. So if we get the Minecraft on the Oculus Go, that's a selling feature. People will buy the Oculus Go just for Minecraft. And to be fair, Minecraft VR is actually really good. And as I say, I'm not sure what exactly how far up they are in Minecraft terms uh, with regards to updates on that version, but it plays quite well. If you can get some multiplayer and you can just mess around building houses, go into the nether, do some exploring, whatever. Uh, brilliant, I can't wait. If you do have an iPhone, you're gonna have to grab somebody who has a Gear VR, a Gear VR compatible phone, and be able to grab the APK off it from there on Android and get it onto your PC or your Mac or whatever, however you get your files onto your Oculus Go to install APKs. Um, so that's gonna be a little bit tricky for you guys. But for you Android guys, definitely, definitely suggest you give it a go. Now I'm sure a few of you are probably like, Romarcus, why can't you share the APK for Minecraft? Well, I could. But it's kind of pirating because it's a paid app and I don't want to kind of encourage you guys to kind of go out there and pirate and share games that you shouldn't do. Because these developers, even big ones like Mahjong, need some compensation for their games and apps. There needs to be a reason. If people start paying for these apps and, you know, they get, get a big following and, you know, make a decent amount of money, then more developers, bigger developers, you know, all sorts of developers, you know, in, more indie developers will come to the platform and start developing for it. So we need to support it. So even if you end up paying $4.99 for that Gear VR version, that's worth it anyway. Just to play the single player in uh, your Oculus Go, brilliant. And then if it comes out again and it's $4.99 on the Oculus Go, I'm happy to pay that. I think that's well worth it as well. So let me know in the comments down below if you've got any questions. I'll try and help where I can. I'm down in those comments all the time. Go to discord.remarcus.com if you want to kind of chat to me about this video in any way. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, thumbs down if you didn't, that's fine. I'm big enough and ugly enough to take it if you didn't like it, but do let me know why you didn't like it in the comments down below. Become one of the Remarkables, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified when I next upload a video. And that's me done, I'm out, have a virtual high five. <laughs>